All right. So here is another typical question. Depending upon the interview that you are going to apply for, they will ask questions relevant to the tools and technologies that they are using, which is very obvious, right? So if they are working on Jenkins, they will ask, have you built this in Jenkins? I know a lot of people start with Jenkins, so they may be able to answer, but what about if they ask you about GitHub Actions, GitLab, uh, Circle CI, and you haven't Azure DevOps, and you have not worked on that to that level? Uh, so first homework is that you should pick one tool which you believe is the market leader. You believe that you will build capabilities in that space um, will be really beneficial to you and uh, your career. So I usually suggest going with Azure DevOps, GitLab, um, not so much with Jenkins. It, it's got a lot of uh, plugins uh, involved in that. So it's the capability of those plugins that that adds value. Um, there is a product called Harness that that I see a uh, lot of uh, companies starting to use that not not only add brings uh, you don't need plugins in that and it it brings additional capabilities like cost management security within that uh, CI CD itself. So the what I'm trying to say is try to build capabilities in one product strong capabilities in one product and do a basic hello world kind of projects using the other products as well. Don't spend a lot of time there. All of these products are very, very similar. So try to give confidence to the person when you go for an interview that you have worked on a different tool. If you if you have not worked on their specific tool, try to give them the confidence that you have worked on, say, uh, Azure DevOps and not so much on GitLab, but you have done some basic projects and you didn't find it very different. It's the same uh, pipeline as code, uh, YAML based uh, structure where you define different stages and a container image from the environment. Um, you specify what base image it has to take, which will be used to build the environment. So try to build a story so that it's a very common situation you will be caught into because you would have not worked on all the tools to that extent. So create a generic answer that if you get something which you have not worked on, then you try to give them the confidence based on your basic hello world kind of projects and tell them that you can easily switch between these tools uh, easily and you didn't find any major uh, difference while you were working on some proof of concept for another uh, hackathon or any other such event. Uh, that would give them the confidence that you can switch between tools, technologies. People understand this, that you, you may not have worked on everything, but you need to give that confidence as well. And the homework, how you can do that is strong capabilities in one area, which could be depending upon your assessment of the industry, or it, usually it is also where you are working right now. So you will, by, by default, you will you will end up building strong capabilities or better capabilities in with that set of tools, but you will also explore other tools just to build basic uh, knowledge so you can handle that uh, such kind of situation in any interview. Uh, 